Restoration, Poetry and Prose Poetry From a literary point of view, the Restoration was a period of innovation. Verse rejected complexity in favour of a classic simplicity. The simplicity of eccentricities and metaphysical consistencies were replaced by order and clarity as a result of the exercise of reason. The real world, with its social events, its ethics and ideals, became the main object of interest. The true spirit of Restoration poetry was satiric. This was due to the study and the translation of the classic writers like Horace, Marshall and Juvenal. John Dryden was the main poet, whose work established the tone and rules of the poetry of the age. Prose As for prose, the rational tendencies of the restorations were to be seen both in the works of the rationalist philosopher John Locke and Thomas Holt from 1588 to 1679, and in the scientific studies of Isaac Newton. In the essay concerning human understanding in 1690, Locke insists that the prime and fundamental source of human knowledge of the world outside was individual experience, which could be achieved through the sense and was not in it. Experience and reason could not be separated. Hobbes defended absolute monarchy in Livyatin from 1651. In the belief that private individuals' selfishness had to be controlled by public force, Isaac Newton published his Law of Motion and Universe Gravitations in his work Philosophy Naturalist Principia Mathematica in 1687. The new science attitude encouraged self-confidence and the belief in human progress. At the same time, it freed the minds of men from fear and superstition and neglect imagination. The Royal Society set up a committee in 1664 to 1665 to examine and improve the English language, which was accorded great importance by the decisions to record the experiments in English rather than in Latin. Important prose writers of, the per of this period were the diarist John Evelyn and Samuel Pepys who provided insists into a daily life of their time.